UFC 265 took place on Saturday the 7th of August at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Here are the results from the main card. Song Yadin returned to the winner's circle with a composed, outstanding performance against Casey Kenny. Song was a deserving winner. Kenny was hampered by his bodywork, and even when Casey placed a lot of pressure, he seldom put himself in a position to strike Song cleanly. Angela Hill had some good offensive moments and utilized an error from Tisha Torres to gain full mount in the last seconds of round 2, but she was just outmatched by a resurgent Torres, who has won 3 straight after a 4 fight losing run. Torres has never fought for a championship, but she's building a name for herself in the competitive strawweight division. Vicente Luque is the maestro of the submittal, and it is my absolute favorite. Michael Chiesa seemed to be putting Luque in trouble with a rear naked choke, a neck crank, and an armbar attempt, but Luque was able to break free from all of them. In the short amount of time, Luque scrambled to a front headlock and was buried in a Daz choke, and Chiesa tapped. Jose Aldo put on a boxing clinic on his way to a unanimous decision victory over fellow Brazilian Pedro Munoz. Aldo also did some great leg kicking, and his fists buckled Munoz a few occasions. His body blows were lethal, and his stinging jab left Pedro severely outgunned for the most of the bout. Cyril Gunn is the new interim UFC heavyweight champion. The outcome seemed like a foregone conclusion with the odds makers favoring Gunn. Gunn dismantled the Black Beast with devastating low kicks, poked his left eye out, and outmuscled the normally strong Lewis in the clinch. The only chance Lewis ever had to win this fight was his customary comeback KO, which never materialized, much to the displeasure of the Houston fans. Lewis tried to go on while injured, but Gunn was much too talented and earned the third round TKO with a flurry of blows that wounded Lewis from leg to torso to head. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Juno's Combat Club for more updates on combat sport.